Hello, I'm Dermot Crowley, and like millions of other people, I'm self-isolating here in London at present. I miss being able to work, and I look forward to the time when we'll all be able to do so once again. I thought I'd remind myself of what it's like to work on a play by recalling the rehearsals for Brian Friel's translations, which I did here in London at the National Theatre last year. We take our places at a big table in rehearsal room one. The stage manager opens her script and reads the first stage direction. The action takes place in a hedge school in the townland of Ballybeog, Ballybeg, an Irish speaking community in County Donegal. Act one, an afternoon in late August, 1833. We're off. The journey to realise Brian Friel's masterpiece translations has begun. For the next five weeks or so, our director, Ian Rickson, provides us actors with a safe space every day in which to explore the text, open ourselves emotionally and honestly to Brian Friel's stunning work. We read and reread the play. We play games designed to bond us together into the tribe that we need to be. Volleyball, the Irish versus the English, the boys versus the girls, the shrieking camaraderie and rivalry drawing us ever closer to each other. We're all given homework to do by Ian, designed to make us examine the play in great depth. What time did the dance start? When did Moira and Yolland leave it? Part of the genius of translations is that even though there are only 10 characters on stage, Brian has populated Ballybyug with a vibrant community who are referred to constantly throughout the play. And so we're tasked with getting photographs of what these people might look like. And gradually the walls of the rehearsal room are covered with pictures of the Donnelly twins, Big Ned Frank, Con Connie Tim and all. Pieces of paper were taped to the walls showing where Anna and Rake's pub was, the direction to Jimmy Jack's house, where the sapper's camp was. All of this meticulous work was created to give us a sense of place, a sense of shared history, so that hopefully for an audience, we wouldn't just be a group of actors walking onto a stage, we would rather be the people of Ballybyug in that summer of 1833, whose lives they were sharing, if only briefly. Stay safe.